Feeling your age, understanding this English phrase. Hello, everyone. In today's video, we'll explore a very interesting English phrase, feeling one's age. This phrase is commonly used in everyday English, but what does it actually mean? By the end of this video, you'll not only understand its meaning but also how to use it correctly in conversations. So, let's get started. Feeling one's age is an idiomatic expression used when someone is becoming aware of their aging, especially when feeling less energetic or more prone to physical discomforts than in their youth. This phrase often carries a connotation of a bit of surprise or resignation towards the inevitable process of aging. It's not just about the number of years one has lived, but more about the physical and sometimes emotional experiences associated with getting older. Let's look at some examples to see how this phrase is used in sentences. 1. After playing basketball with much younger players, Mike said, I'm really feeling my age today. 2. You know you're feeling your age when a late night out takes you days to recover from, joked Sarah. In these examples, the phrase is used to express a sense of tiredness or the impact of aging on one's activities and recovery. When using, feeling one's age, in conversations, it's important to remember the context. This phrase is often used in a light-hearted or self-deprecating way, but it can also be used more seriously to express genuine discomfort or fatigue due to aging. It's a great phrase to connect with others over shared experiences of getting older. In different cultures, the perception of aging can vary significantly. This phrase reflects a common theme in English-speaking cultures where there's an awareness and often a humorous resignation towards the signs of aging. It's interesting to compare how different cultures talk about aging and what phrases they use to describe similar feelings. And there you have it. Feeling one's age is a phrase that beautifully encapsulates the experience of recognizing the signs of aging, often with a mix of humor and realism. We hope this video has been enlightening and that you'll feel confident using this phrase in your English conversations. Remember, language is not just about words, but the stories and experiences they represent. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.